So tell me a little bit why you're here to see me for physical therapy. What okay. brings you in? Um, I really need some, I, I'm exercising and I'm maybe walking a lot, but I don't have form. My form is really bad, so I need concentration on form. So quality of your walking, yes. you want to get better at the quality, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, and so. And balance. In balance, okay. Balance. So let's talk a little bit about those two things. So t okay. let's talk about your walking. Okay. How much are you walking during the day, or how far can you go before you have to kind of take a break or sit down? That's a good question. Um, like well, I walked uh, for like six minutes or something like that at um, the Rehab Center, and I was not, I was getting tired. After about six minutes, okay, you did a six minute walk test there. Yeah. And, uh, so, and you're getting pretty pooped at six minutes. Yeah. And were you using anything like a rolling walker? Using my walker. Using a rolling walker, okay. Um, as far as your balance goes, have you had any falls in the last year? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Can you tell me about those falls or any of the big ones or circumstances around those? Um, well, I guess my last one that I was a little concerned about, I've been falling backwards instead of forwards. I always mm, fall forwards. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> when you and can't get so your hands out. I, I <clears throat> was in the bathroom and I, I lost my balance and leaned on something that broke. And I fell and turned and hit my head really Ouch. hard on the floor. Fortunately, I have a hard head. Oh, man. And I thought, <laughs> was it a tile floor? It or was a tile. It was a Yeah. Thank goodness. Oh. And I thought, it doesn't hurt, but I wonder what I did. You know, I mean, I wonder if I, there's blood running around. <laughs> oh, gosh. Did you lose consciousness at no, all? Or? No. So that's a good sign. But then what happened the next day is I realized that I really hurt my elbow because I okay. hurt my elbow. And how long ago was this? this was that when? was about, oh, maybe three weeks, three weeks ago, four weeks. Okay. How you, are you, how's your head feeling right now from it's that? It's fine. Or? I've okay. had a few headaches, but I've, okay. I've continued. Yeah, you could but, have a, got a concussion or something, but at least um, you didn't lose consciousness, which is good. I, I know. <laughs> Um, very hard head. So, other any other major falls you've had other than that one recently? No, no, that was kind of major. Do you know why you got kind of disoriented in the bathroom, or what no, what don't. the circumstance was? You didn't feel I was lightheaded going to or anything? To a standing position, and it just happened. Okay. You know? No, so, no lightheadedness. Like you were going to pass no, out. It was just life head. Okay. Okay, it's good to know. Okay, so. Um, Tell me a little bit about, you know, talking about where you do live. Yeah. Tell me about your living circumstances. Okay. Well, when I broke my arm in 2010, my neurologist... <laughs> and is that from a fall, the broken arm? Yes. And that was my fall. I tripped over something in my room, my okay. office. I was getting ready to go to teach, and I landed on the corner of my cadenza <sighs> on the and broke the humerus bone. So you tripped over an object on the floor yeah. or something? Okay. Moving around, trying to move quickly or something, or well, just like, normally, just moving? I was in a hurry. Okay, you were in a hurry, That's trying to go to teach. Yeah, and that was dumb. Okay. So, um, so what's the other thing, though? So that was, so you fell and broke that arm yes. in 2010? 2010, so I had a um, titanium rod put oh, wow. in there. Okay. And that was in 2010. Then 2011, as I'm leaving my last PT at Southview, had a had the, had the um, brace on. I don't know where it is now. You had a brace on, I had an the, ankle brace. Yeah. AF, a, no, I had the, uh, you know, the... Oh, the t the uh, electrical stem one. No, no, no. no okay. I had the one you wanted me to get, the carbon. The carbon, yeah. Yeah, yeah carbon. Yep. <clears throat> I had that on because I'd been going to right. rehab. And that was my last rehab, and it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm going on the back street toward my apartment, and somebody was going too fast around the curb and Rant was swerving and hit me and knocked me off the road. And I guess... You were in your car? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah, I had my foot on the brake. Okay. And that's what I remember seeing when I came to, because I guess I must have gone out. I don't know. I didn't think I had, but I probably did. So then they said, uh, uh, nothing hurt until they tried to move my leg. And then I went, ah, and it was spazzing like crazy. And apparently it was, it was a compound fracture, and a friend of mine said, you're lucky you have a foot. Wow. So you had a compound fracture of the right leg. Yeah, and crushed the calcaneus. Crushed the calcaneus. And uh, cracked the Oh, my. And cr but crushed that, or cracked the patella. Cracked it the it cracked. He was able to uh, put um, wire on it. Right. Hold so it together. So he didn't have a kneecap. <laughs> and he decided not to operate on the, on the heel because he thought it would probably heal itself. Right. So he 
got no eight screws and stuff in here. Didn't you have, did you have an external fixator, one of those things on the outside of it, or no? You didn't have one of those things that's kind of got like screws going in from the outside and a big open thing. No, you no. just had a, they yeah, did it, they did it, cast. they put a cast, they did mm -hmm. the, put the pins in and wires and those kind of things. They did, they put some pins in here, didn't they? Down yeah, the lower inside my foot, yeah. I've got screws. screws and I've got a plate here, a plate here. He said this swelling is never going to go down. I see, because there's a plate there. Yeah. yeah so. You've been through a lot. Yeah. I don't so, want to do that again. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do that again, please. Yeah. Um, okay, so. Okay, so you said tell me about the place where you live. But yeah, where are you living so now? Then I live at the, um, at Wright Place, which is a senior independent living. Senior independent and living. And so it has elevators. Elevators, an apartment, basically. Yeah, I have a, like a, an apartment, and then there's an elevator. There's a long walk to my apartment. Mm, down a hallway, long yeah, walk. Yeah, long down hallway. hallway to get to the elevator and upstairs, and then I'm right around the corner, so that's not too bad. Okay. But, and then I have to, you know, walk out to my car, which is right in front, fortunately, and then I put my walker in there. Put your walker in the back of the yeah. car. So you've, any any other devices you use regularly at home or anything like that? Yeah, I do use a Jazzy. You have a Jazzy. Is that something you use? You don't have a way to transport that. You just use that in the house uh, or in the, the well, senior yeah, living area? Or? We did take it out two weeks ago. A friend of mine found uh, one of those pneumatic lifts at a garage sale oh, in gosh. Alabama, and he's been working on it, and so we took it out. Is that one that goes on the back of a car or yeah. in a trailer hitch? And you can just yeah, kind of look. I had a trailer hitch put on my car oh, okay. so we could do, put this on there. Right, wow. And he's pro my going for it, taking it to school, and I said, I don't want to do that because I can't carry everything. Yeah, I'd right. Be able to use more. Sure, yeah. So. so. Okay, so, so, you have, nice. so you do have a powered device, a yeah, Jazzy. Like it is it the three wheel or is it actual Jazzy it's wheelchair? Jazzy. Uh, it was given to me by my, my friend because I one of those. Okay, okay. Um, canes or anything like that you have laying around? You know, I don't house. use a cane very much because I don't have confidence that I can, right. that I can not Keep, fall. Okay, so a confidence um, issue with that. I used to use it Okay. until when? You know, I was doing better, it seems like, uh, before I started classes again because I didn't have time to exercise. And um, I think I was doing better all around. I just got got worse. Hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, that can happen. Age and MS or a combination yeah. and those kind of things. I don't know if it has anything to do with my meds or not. Yeah. I was taking Copax and I was doing shots. What's your age right now? 66. Let me ask. 66. So, you know, generally when we get in the, you know, when we cross over to the 60s and in the late 60s, that's when if normally we see strength drop off oh. a lot faster, irregardless whether you have MS or anything like really? that. So it just means you have to take that much more of a, you know, conscious approach to maintaining yeah. strength or else you're going to lose it, you know. I that's, know. That happens to all of us, you know. So um, so anyway, so there's just being a combination of factors that can be leading to all this yeah. kind of, and so it's good you're in here for trying to see about getting a tune-up. Well, in teaching, see, that, that I'm getting really tired of that. So tell me about your teaching. You do okay. teaching part-time or? Part-time, like uh, three days a week for three hours. Three days a week, three hours. So, but I have to get up really early. I have to, well, six o'clock. Yeah, right. I get up That's at early. six o'clock um, to go because it takes me so long to get ready. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, got to pace yourself too. Yeah. You know? And then you teach from what time to what time? Nine o'clock till noon. Nine to noon. Yeah. And what kind of class? What are you teaching? Um, English is a second language. Okay. Two yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. How, do you, how do you like that? I love it. Great. Great. Yeah, I get I to see, I'm sure you get to see some really neat, to meet some really neat people. I do. So. I'm just beginning to wonder if this one is going to be. <laughs> Bye-bye. For you? Yeah. To be able to do it, continue to do it? Yeah, because I'm wondering if my body's going to need more help. I, you know, it's like it's like a circular thing. Yeah. You want to improve your body so you can work. Yeah, I know. You don't want to work because you can't improve your body. Yeah, so. but, you know, working's important, you know, yeah. and, and staying engaged. Yeah. So I think it's they're both important. I think you, just, you can do both, I you know. So. so trying to find a way to balance that I think would be important. And that's what we can talk about is, you know, are, are there exercises you can do that aren't overwhelming to do? You don't have to spend all day doing yeah. them, but yeah. you give you a lot of benefit for the yeah. amount of time invested. So. Right. Um, and in the wintertime, it's very bad because Oh, oh gosh, yeah. Plus, just put all the clothes on, take them, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh wow! And they don't like they don't like have, to have little helpers to go out and do that for you. No. <laughs> gosh. We're yeah, you're independent. Yeah. Yes. Oh so, man, that is that's brutal. It is. Um, you don't want to hire somebody to sure. 
All right, and so you live alone, right? Yes. So okay, and you have any you have friends and things like that that help you out if needed, and you know. Yes, I do. Okay, so. Yeah, and um, Green County um, is amazing with their services. Oh, good, that good. They can provide. Nice. So I get you know rides to doctors' offices and stuff like that. Hmm. Different things that I need. You know, Great. To provide. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, so tell so the, so the one thing you want to get out of what if I said there's one thing you want to get better at with this therapy what would be the one goal you know or one major thing you say Kurt if you could really help me with this this would make Balance my life more. anything more specific as far as oh, I mean like walk a certain distance or move oh. in a certain way or be able to do something that you know is that you're currently not able to do that you um, well I'd like to be able to walk. A little faster and a little, a little bit faster farther. and farther. Okay, yeah. that, that helps. You know, to know, yeah. you know, with a little, with also maybe a little more, a little bit of quali better quality too. You yeah, said. So, okay. Yeah, I don't think my form is very good. Okay, and then I we have don't. That definitely don't want you falling and breaking anything either. No. That really puts a damper on things. So, okay. Okay, D. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at what you can and can't do here. And let's uh, go ahead and first of all, just go ahead and sit facing me and get kind of in a posture there that you feel is like a normal posture for you. Oh, normal. Yeah, just kind of a yeah. Well, don't cross them, but just kind of sit there in a relaxed way or a way that you typically would. And just take a quick look here about at your posture here. Can you tell you tend to lean to the left a little bit? Yeah. No? So you tend to have a little bit of a left oh, lean. Well, after my accident, I'm crooked. Are you? Yeah, okay. you want to put on a necklace. Which accident? The, yeah, the, the, the arm, arm accident? Arm. Okay. Yeah. So, so that, could I, hmm. it's, it's not, I don't know which way it's slanted. Okay. It is definitely slanted. So let's just take a look at your motion here. First of all, let's look at your upper body first here. So can you raise your arms up over your head for me? Is that as high as you can go? Good, and bring them back down. Okay. Go ahead and just bend your elbows up like that for me, straighten them all the way out. Good, okay, can you just bring your arms like this? Can you turn them in like this to crush? Now bring them all the way out as far as you can. That looks good, okay, a little balance there. Um, any uh, difficulty with dressing or anything like that with your shoulders of getting anything on or off or? Not too much, but generally I would put I, I used to put this arm in first, first yeah. Because, yeah. But I mean, I don't always you don't probably don't have to do that now, but it's kind of a habit or so. Yeah. All right, just go ahead and hold your arms out like this for me. I'm going to try to push down. Just don't let me. Good. Go ahead and just make a muscle for me right muscle. here. Yep. Oh. Hold it. Good. Same thing here. Yep. Good. Go ahead and squeeze my fingers as hard as you can. Oh, I hate to do this. <laughs> no, you're not going to hurt me. Um, now, tell me, do you have any, feel like you have weakness? Go ahead and relax now. <laughs> now you're hurting me. Uh, do you have any, feel like you have weakness in one arm versus another, or anything like that? Um, yeah, I think my left arm is weaker. Is it? I tend to use my right arm for everything. Sure. You're right-handed? No, I'm left-handed. You're left-handed, okay. But you use your right arm for everything because your Just left about. hand feels a little weaker to you? I think my, my left side of my body is weaker. Okay. okay. I think. Is that from the MS, you think? I don't know that. Okay. Um, one thing I forgot to ask you about when we were doing our interview is about your MS as far as how long you've had MS for. 27 years. 27. 26 years. Okay. And the, what do you classify it as? As your doctor said, you're a certain secondary, secondary, progressive. secondary progressive. Okay. Um, so let's just take a look now at some coordination in your upper body here. Bring your fingers out like this and just go ahead and we're just going to start with one arm. Let's go oh. with the left arm or right arm. It doesn't matter. Bring it to your nose. Good. Good. Now close your eyes and do that. Oh. Okay. Good. Not too bad there, other than your balance. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and now put your hands on your lap and I want you to flip them over as fast as you can like that. Not too good. My hands aren't good. Your hands aren't great with that. So a little, little bit of a challenge with that, but not too bad, not too bad. Um, okay, let's go ahead and just have you, you can scoop back just a little bit so you're nice and stable on this. I want to look at your legs just a little bit here, okay? Let's go ahead and can you raise this, just kind of pick your, your hip up like that and your knee up like that. Good, and bring it back down. Now this one, same thing there. A little harder with that one. Does it seem a little harder? 
Yeah, I don't know. Looks a little harder, but I don't know if it feels harder to you. It probably is. Yeah, because that was weaker. Your left side, you feel like your left leg is weaker than your right? I feel like my left leg is weaker than my right. Okay. Um, sure. Now, go ahead and do that it's again. It's flexible, though. Go ahead and do that again and hold it up. Okay. Don't only push it down. Good. Okay. Same thing here again. Bring it up. Don't only push it down. <laughs> okay. That is a little weaker. Um, go ahead and straighten the knee out for me on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold it there. Don't only push it down. Okay. Good. Now, same thing here. Don't only push it down. Relax. Good. Now, let's take a look at your ankle here. Oh. I know this ankle is probably stiff from that accident. Very. So try to bring your toes up for me. Okay. Now hold it there for me. Don't only push it down. Good. Can you bring your toes kind of out to the side like this for me? Good. Let me bring it this way. It's actually more motion than I thought you'd have. I thought it'd be a little stiffer than that. So. And that's good. Take so you do some yoga exercise. Oh, right. Bring your toes up. Hold. Don't only push down. Good. Um, bring it out to the side that way a little bit. Hold. Don't only pull it across. Wow, it's not good. So some we a little bit of weakness there, but not you know it's not too bad. You know it's uh, decently strong. Um, just out of curiosity here, go ahead and can you just go ahead and stand up for me? Yeah. You can, and then you can hold on to my hands here. Um, are you able to raise up onto your toes? Lift your heels up. So cut, raise your heels up off the ground. Come up onto your toes. Yeah. Good. They and back down. <laughs> your toes scr Balance. scrunch up. Um, so one more time for me. Raise up. Good. And back down. You can sit back down now. Great. Okay, um, let's do a little bit of uh, work with uh, some other things, testing. We're going to look at quickly at your vision. Do you have any visual problems or blind spots or no. double vision, anything like that? No. Okay. I, I've noticed that sometimes I'm working on the computer and stuff. It's, it's just getting worse, I think, just, you know, as far as age, age and. VR okay. Stuff. Okay. Um, so first of all, I want you to do is just follow. You're going to keep your head still, and you're going to follow this little pen here, marker here, yeah. from side to side. Good. And we're going to go up and down. One more time over this way. Up and down. Good. Okay. You're right with that. <laughs> Throw you off a little bit there. <laughs> um, I'm going to also, I'm going to bring my finger in from the side of your vision. Okay. Just say now or okay. yes when you can see it. Okay. So first of all, just go ahead and take this hand and cover your eye. Oh, this Cover your, your right eye. Yeah. Yep. And keep, your, keep your fingers kind of tucked in behind your nose there just like that. There you go. So look at my nose with your left yeah. eye there. Okay. Yeah. Just tell me when you see my finger come into view yeah. here. Okay. Great. Yeah. Oh, I already saw it. it okay. Up here. You saw it already. No, okay. No. Do it again. Okay. Good. Yeah. Now we're going to come from the bottom. Yeah. Wow. Now switch eyes. Okay. Good. Now I've blinded myself. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm feeling the same way. So keep your eye on my nose. Oh, on your nose. Yep. Tell me I when. I can see it. You see it? Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Let's bring, I'm going to bring one more from this side. Yeah. Good. You look good with that. So, okay. Um, Let's take a quick look at, how's, how's your sensation? Do you feel like your feet are numb at all or having difficulty feeling things or anything um, like that? Yeah, my, my feet are always a little bit numb. But, I, I mean, I can feel, feel, but it, they're cold all the time. Cold all the time. Okay. Yeah, no, sometimes, no, no, no. sometimes, sometimes sensation, you know, can be affected and it makes it yeah. feel cold. Um, yeah. Anything in your hands, tingling, numbness in the hands or anything like that that no. you've ever had a problem with? No. Okay. So we're just going to focus on your feet for now. Okay. So go ahead and scoot back there a little bit and I'm going to raise you up just a tad here. I'm really uncoordinated with my hands though. Are you? I'll tell you, yes. Have you always been that way or is that since MS or? It's probably a little bit. Okay. Um, we're going to test your ability to sense this little vibrating tuning fork, yeah, okay? Right. And I'm going to touch close it to your, your we're going to, yeah, touch it to your big toe. You're going to yeah. close your eyes. First of all, you're going to make sure you can feel it, the yeah. vibration. But then you're just going to say now when it goes away, okay? okay? The moment you say, you may still feel the pressure okay. of it, but just yeah. when it, when the vibration goes away, okay. just say now. That's hard for me to say. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, we'll start with your right. 
Do you feel a vibration? Yes. Good. <laughs> Tell me when it goes away. Just say now when it goes away. Now. It's gone? I the think. vibration? Well, I can try it again. I felt it. I Let's mean, try it again. So, yeah, you may still feel the pressure, but the yeah. vibration is what I'm looking okay. for. Okay. Do you feel it vibrating? Now. <laughs> Tell me when it goes away. Now. Okay. I believe so. Okay. So, you're not sure. Not sure. Okay. That's okay. Do okay. you feel that now. vibrating? Okay. Ooh. Tell me when it goes away. Still going. The vibration part? Yeah. Okay. So I wish it would be going that long. Uh, yep. did you feel it vibrating? Okay, yes. just tell me when it goes away. Now. Out there? Yeah, so it was different when you first did the other Those were on the big toe. Yeah. Um, and just, they, they go away a little sooner than we typically expect. But let's try a little higher up on the okay. leg here just for curiosity here. Let's go up actually. I'm going to go right to your knee here. Okay. See what you feel here. You feel that vibrating? Yeah. Close your eyes. Tell me when it goes away. No. Okay. No. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Tell me when it goes away. No. Well, no, I can still feel it. No. So, you know, it's a little worse down at your feet, which is, uh, is normal because those are longer nerves. So if they're affected, you know, if MS tends to affect the, you know, uh, sheath, the insulation around the nerves, and the, the, the one signals coming from farther have a less chance of getting there. So, uh. um, but you have, since you have, you can feel the vibration, yes. which is good. So you have that sense. Um, we're going to just real quickly screen a little bit of your ability to oh, sense yeah. the difference between sharp and dull, okay? Oh, yeah. So, first of all, let me make sure you can feel what I'm going to be doing to you. So, do you feel when I touch there, does that feel dull to you? Dull. Okay? Versus? Sharp. You can tell that's sharp. Yeah. Okay? I'm going to do the same thing we're going to do in your feet to start okay. with here. I may work my way up, but I just okay. want you to say, all you need to say is sharp or dull. Okay. Okay? No sharp. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Mm. Sharp. Mm. I think that was dull. That's sharp. 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 Mm. Dull. Okay. You have a little, little struggle with some of those. Yeah, so is it is, you know, depending on how hard I push with this, uh, I don't want to yeah. make you bleed yeah, <laughs> yeah, on the first yeah. day anyway. So uh, sometimes I may not push quite hard enough yeah. for the view to really sense the, the yeah. sharp. So I got to be a little careful with that. But yeah. um, it looks like, you know, in both your legs, you do have s some loss of sensation. It's not super profound. Um, but it's enough that it probably does affect your balance a little bit, you know, mm. that in combination with some weakness and things like that. Yeah. So, um, all right. Um, so let's take a look real quickly at some of your reflexes too. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Well, clear. yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like they're, they, they, you, have, you have them, huh? Yeah, I do. Well, I did anyway. So we're going to do your knee here. Okay. So your job is just to relax here for me. Woohoo! Yeah. You can go ahead and lay down for me. Good. Okay. I'm just going to take a look at your legs here and just feel what they feel like as far as when you're in a relaxed state. So let me raise this up for a moment. Like your bracelet. That's nice. Yeah, it's from a health food store. <laughs> All right. So your job is to relax and just let me move you. Okay. So you just want to be dead weight. Well, not total dead weight, but you know what I mean. So, relax. Good. Just give me your leg. Do you do any other exercise besides yoga? I've been doing curves, which is going to be Okay. Yeah, uh huh. Yep. Circuit training of machines. Okay. 
<laughs> Relax. Oh, uh, wow. They shut it totally down? They sold it to the White State Radio. Oh. Got really old folks, huh? Let me just go ahead and take a quick measurement on a couple things here. What's that? I've never been to the Beaver Creek Y. And so now it's it's used by the Wright State Raiders for swimming, or? I guess. So you're a little tight here. Yeah. Can't even get your foot straight up. So that's definitely something that's an issue for you. Let's take a look at this side too. You're a tad better, but still, nah, they're both both about similar, both saying about can't quite get to the straight up position, about five degrees short of going straight up, so you actually want to be able to go up plus another 20 degrees after being straight up, so you're wow. you're missing about 25 degrees of motion on your ankles, and that, that can be a reason why you may be falling backwards, because your ankles are so tight. The calf muscles, if those aren't tight, you tend to go, it makes you go backwards a little bit. Um, so that's definitely something that you know you might be working on. Yeah. But with you, you have to be careful how you stretch those out because I notice you also have these feet that tend to kind of collapse and we call go into pronation. Yeah, yeah so we got to be careful when you stretch that out so that you're not stretching the pronation part of it, but stretching just the calf part of it. So uh, we can talk about that as part of some things and activities we do. And I can tell also, I'm just looking at the bulk of your legs here. After you had that injury to this side, there's quite a bit of loss of um, muscle on your right calf. Okay, that's never come back. You're, even though your left leg is weak because of the MS, your right leg is also weak, but it's because you lost a lot of muscle bulk back here. Um, so you definitely have some work to do to strengthen this up. That's related to just having that leg and that cast. So that's that stuff you should be able to get back with work. Lost it through not, you know, through inactivity. So um, that's also, let's see here. What's that? Yeah, that's where you're going to want some supportive footwear, you know, some relatively supportive footwear. Um, can you go ahead and bend both your knees up for me? Lift your hips up and then just kind of drop them. Good. Now let's, what? I actually got a fairly substantial leg length discrepancy too. Your left leg is longer, your right leg right leg's a little bit shorter. Have you been told that before or noticed that before? It looks like it's not just that. It's something maybe a little structural. So, um, you know, that's another thing that can be explored as far as, and I don't know if that's because you might have lost some stuff with this, if the calcaneus fracture and the fracture at the ankle, you could lose some, some length there. So we need to think about some issues at that, that you might even been, you know, like a heel lift or something. But you don't want to do anything, do you? Yeah, on the right side that I'll, you wear? I'll wear it sometimes. Just, just on the right? Yeah. Okay. So how, who gave you that advice, or did you, did you know that? Somebody found this leg length discrepancy? Oh, my chiropractor. Oh, okay, okay. So, right, okay, go ahead. All right, Dee, let's, so let's just take a little look at your mobility a little bit. So what I want you to do first is just, are you able to um, stand up from this bench here, from this uh, we'll bed without using your hands? Let's see how that looks. Okay, not too bad. Sit back down nice and slow. Do that for me one more time. Good. And now ease yourself back down. A little fall at the end there. A little collapse, so. Okay. Um, what if I went a little bit lower? That's more normal height. See if you can do that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> a little work there, huh? Yeah. Okay. If I put my feet farther apart, it's better. Yeah, that makes it a little more stable, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now let's bring your walker over here, and I want to see how you do with your walking. And so we'll have you stand up, and then you're just going to walk down the end of this uh, 
room here and back, just at your, however you normally would typically walk, normal pace. Let me go ahead and get the camera so I can focus on you as you do this. Okay, you may go ahead and walk. Come back. Doing that, but just okay. Go ahead and walk. And turn around and go back one more time. Just go ahead and stand up for me. Good. Just just stand normally, hands at your side there, how you normally stand. Is that how you would normally stand right there, well, feet, feet position? Or I, how? I try to, to stand like that more often, just like for my balance. With your feet, what, wide like yeah. that? Yeah. And that's, is that, but that's how you normally stand if you didn't have your walker to hold well, on to? Uh, if you're just... Yeah, well, yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you just turn and face me? Turn this way. Good. And just stand there for me. Good. Your hands, are you using them to stabilize or can no. you relax them? Okay, good. Okay, go ahead and stand and turn back. Turn this way again. Good. All the way around. Just, yeah, just know this is fine right here. So now go ahead and can you close your eyes and keep oh. your balance for me? Does that feel hard? A little bit. I'm starting to. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You can open your eyes and you can step back to the okay. bed here. That's not too See how you do backward walking. Yeah, not too well. Good. 